It's 7.21 in the morning. Today is test day. I've actually never seen the car drift before. Today is the start of our fourth vlog, vlog, vlog. Anyway, I've never seen the car drift before. Neither of you so far. And so we're going to adventure into the world of actually drifting our car. A million changes have happened. It's got a front sway bar. It's got different shocks in there. Uh, it's got a rear sway bar set up. It's got a, all new bushings and a bunch of stuff in the motor and everything. Uh, all It's got all new rear geometry. Everything's changed. And so we're going to go find that out today. Here's a man who's loading some tires. Obviously, I'm doing the hard work here, the heavy lifting. He's doing the easy stuff, uh, the grunt work, really. Look at all the Cherokees. And there's all the infinite Cherokees. The, and then we got the cop cars, yep, the, the push bars, ones. the school cars. Yeah, there's another lot with even more Crown Vicks. If you're wondering where all the Crown Vicks went, look at this. And we're going over we're going over the racetrack with our with our You just you go over the racetrack. It's that's that's the oops, you gotta be on the infield. Here's a bridge of all the drift cars down here. We see got we got some BMWs. We got some FRSs. I didn't bring stickers. No, I didn't bring stickers. <laughs> Son of a bitch. We got look at the track. We got a traction circle. A real traction circle. Oh my god. Oh my god. There's traction circle. He doesn't, he doesn't know what a traction circle is. <laughs> Hell yeah. Got all the hot boy shit out here. You got the hop. We got a lowered le front wheel drive Lexus. Let's get this going. We're gonna do the roll through here. Look at all the hot boy stuff. The hottest of the boys. They are hot and they're boys. That's not a Verosa. Look at all the hot boys. Oh my god. Look, there's all these people here. There's people. Oh my god. They're so hot, and they boys. Look at all the hot boys. I mean, I mean they're hot. Let me tell you. Wait, 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 wait. Is this tech inspection? Is this? It's over. We're, <laughs> did, he, did he fail or did he pass? He passed. He passed. Oh. oh I don't know about the standards here. Okay. I mean, I, he, he passed to drive today. Just today. It's a special pass. You want me to tell you how to pass to drive yesterday? He's like, <laughs> you know, we can go through all that. Today is final bout. Uh, this is a practice Sunday, so the main event happened yesterday, and I think on Friday as well. It was raining. Today, there's a lot less drivers, but we still got some cool teams out hanging out out here. Um, we've got our car ready to rock, but what's really exciting is Mateen actually has his shit ready and going. It's been about three years since Mateen has drifted, and he's just getting all of his stuff organized and set up. He's got his 2J. He's a 2J kind of guy. He's got his Samsonis, look at that. And his new rear mount radiator with his MR, MR2 pump. Volvo, he's got his Volvo pump and his rear radiator. We got the car all set up, ready to warm up the differential for today. And you can see everybody's kind of up there. They're doing their drifts already. So it's sick, I'm excited. We're gonna go out do our first sort of warm up lap with all our new changes. And we're gonna see what breaks because I'm not a fabricator. So. Uh, it's probably all gonna break So we just came back from the first test lap uh, the car is still in one piece um, Inquiring minds want to know how did it go? It, it was great. W what do you mean? Um, <clears throat> the car just felt like super solid um, I guess I didn't realize that it felt loose before but I could definitely tell it feels solid now um, I didn't have to use the e-brake on my transition, so it just snapped to angle. I transitioned and it would snap right back, so that was kind of cool. Uh, it allowed me to be more on throttle. And uh, it's got a lot more power now, so <laughs> it sends the biscuits. More gas equals more fast.
Okay, so you've been watching the vlogs for a while now. You're probably on your like 32nd, your 45th, your 239th uh, vlog while we've been here. But this has been the first time, first time we actually went out and did some drifting uh, on a drift related vlog. Um, how did it go? It was great. I'm gonna kick butt this year. Y'all better look out. Why do you, why do you why why do you say that? This car feels great, bro. Hell yeah. So all those changes we made, uh, apparently it worked out. So, uh, uh, little secret, I was just kind of eating ideas at things uh, with some logic and stuff like that. But I'm not a fabricator, uh, and uh, the, there's still some more changes to go. But our first test day went really well, I would say. Yeah, hell yeah. Uh, I think I only the only thing that we actually ran into the today was we had a belt slip at one time and it was like oh no it's fixed that was it otherwise the car uh was awesome hell yeah but okay. uh, side note summit point is really cool i didn't realize how cool it was i didn't realize there was so much elevation change and i love elevation change so that was really dope um and this guy was nice enough to let me operate his car hell yeah He's excited, he's nervous, he's nervous and excited. He's, they gave him a knife. I don't know if he's allowed to have a knife. <laughs> mm -hmm. Heck yeah. Oh boy. Look, Look at those. Two piece of the braided line. Mm -hmm. So this is front, it looks like. Heck yeah. Because those are big. <laughs> <laughs> You're helping, you're doing a lot of help. Look at those boys. And they're loaded. A loaded caliber there. Locked and loaded? Boom. Man, these are light. Hell yeah. That's awesome. Those look like rears. This is this is the C and J A C. Mr. What's going on? Uh, you're our welding master today. Sure. You're the welding <laughs> master today. We are currently fitting metal to wood. In the hood, metal to wood, dropping 2024. Uh, Alex is just making holes more holy. Uh, they're not as holy as we need them to be. They're going to be more holy. Uh, and then Mr. Chris is going to weld up our knuckle jig. This is a jig in order to uh, mimic the original points of the PBM version ones. And then uh, we'll be able to make clones and then improve upon our clones further with our kingpin angle adjustments. So that's coming up shortly. Look at the Eldersburg car care community coming together. Yeah. For my, which, so there's a Miney Key connection, there's an Elderberg car, 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 car care on the rough. Car. Car on the rough. Car care. Uh, oh, wait, it's Canadian. Car. And then, <laughs> here, here's Lewis. He's, he's doing the welds. Uh, we're building jigs. He's in there. All right. And we're gonna find out tomorrow that none of this is gonna work anyways, but at least we put the effort in into knowing that uh, we've tried. 
The reason we're doing all of this is for our wonderful TDMI brakes. Uh, and the TDMI brakes uh, are not designed for a modified aftermarket knuckle, but they're designed for your OEM knuckle. So if you're looking for really big, cool brakes for your car, especially specifically your FRS or BRZ, TDMI now has a kit that is a bolt-on for your factory knuckles. That's the key, factory knuckles. You can't end this video without putting the Iron Man mask down and saying out. <laughs> Okay, so you see the commercials and on the, the you're on the FD live feed. You're on there. You're in there. You're watching. You're like, and then Jared Deanna is like, "There's a crash, and we need to go to a, a commercial section." You're like, "Oh, the commercials again." And then they 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 punish you with those commercials. But however, there's the Type S commercials, and it's kind of a pretty cool one. And I didn't realize like I'm used to old school like underglow kits that are like, eh. But they got a Formula Drift specific Type S kit, and it's actually gnarly as fuck. <laughs> like it even says Type S in the in, inside there. Um, it's like double stripped, and it's like industrial grade. Even comes with a third brake light setup. Uh, and these are like FD kits, so they're specifically for Formula Drift. So they're like pre-wired, and you put your little thing in, and like let they dude. He's gonna he's gonna press the button. App. You got an app. Couldn't make it any easier. Look, I just hit this button and boom, they're gonna turn on. Wow. And they're bright, bright. This is bright as fuck, <laughs> dude. Stop. Oh my god. What do we got here? Red. Oh, that's that's the worst. <laughs> Yellow is pleasant. We can do white. We're just trying to, you know. We're just trying to chill. We're just trying to work on the car. Dang. <laughs> Dang. We can see at night now. I just want the. Ooh. Yeah, we're underwater now. The... It's so aquatic. <laughs> Uh, and then your favorite. Ah! <laughs> That's the red light district. You don't have to put the red light on. So let's take a look in here and we'll find out. It's really dark in here for some reason. That's really weird. Whoa. Look at this menacing machine. It's menacing. It's hot. It's hot. Yeah, this is, this is sick. This is only one of the kits. We have two. Two? We got two? <laughs> uh, yeah, hell yeah. This is sweet. You want me to switch the color? Why wouldn't you? Show you green. Yeah, give me, get, hit me with all the. Oh man. That's a lot of green, especially with the headlights. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> gra grave digger would be jealous. <laughs> What the hell are we doing? Dude, we're getting some food because I'm hungry. <laughs> He's hungry. Uh, we're just like literally just leaving the house now. These people are playing baseball. That's only because they don't know how good drifting is. But we're just about to head down to a three day, a three, a three des, a three des festival. Three day des, 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 des. It's a huge festival. Three, it's a big fest. It's a car fest. I've never been to a car festival, but I assume this is what uh, Forza Horizon is like. And it's just gonna be people running around on the streets of Mexico, just uh, doing nonsense stuff in their automobiles and spinning their really expensive Ford Escort uh, Cosworth RSs off into posts. Because that's all I know about Forza Horizon. You'll see Escorts there. They're at escorts? Oh yeah. What kind of escorts? <laughs> He's driving right now. Uh, but yeah, we're going down to Hyperfest where I'm going to take all my hyperness and just take it into a fest to put it in a ball. I'm just going to take it all down there. It's going to happen. Paparu, how is this morning? Yeah. She's awake. She says hello. Uh, we're just getting the rest of the trailer set up. Car is out here. The man, the myth, the legend. Not him though. Uh, it's the car actually. Uh, <laughs> uh, there's a variety of former Drift Week participants getting their vehicles ready and set up uh, and panicking through last minute repairs. Uh, and we're just ready here. A couple other FD drivers are here as well. Uh, and I think I see Zendara uh, from, well, Canada. She's set up over there as well. So that's really cool to see. I don't want to get, I am i can't wait to get, like if I walk on this road, not only do I get hit by a car, but I get hit by a unique car. Uh, speaking of unique automobiles, in here, so, yeah, that's what today is. A variety of unique and interesting automobiles. 
it's it's just Forza Horizon, just the real thing. So everybody's just doing unique and and interesting things and bringing really strange cars. Like this 69 Do or Plymouth, 69 Plymouth satellite drift car. That's going in tech line, just behind a GTO, which is behind an FRS, which is behind an E36, which is behind two Soarers, or SE300s. Uh, yeah, <laughs> there's just a wild variety of stuff happening right now. There's, pe there's people, there's, oh my God, look at all the people doing stuff. There's people doing things. People, people they're doing stuff and things. There's people. Hi. Good day. There's some people. Big difference, huh? There's some people. <laughs> What's up, man? Good day. You're on a camera. Good morning. It's very early in the morning. Oh, Actually, okay. it's 19 seconds into the morning. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you brought an automobile? Yeah, my SC300 over here. But you brought a clone of the automobile as well. So that's actually my uncle's. Okay, that's the uncle car. Yeah, I'm the nephew. You're the nephew. Yeah, he's the one who that's got it. That's why you get the graphics. He doesn't. <laughs> no, no. Okay. He's actually the one who started it all. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Oh. Are those his old shoes? No, 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 no. no. These, okay. these, these are mine. These those are, are mine. yours. Okay, he purchased his own shoes. Hell yeah. We just had driver's meeting. They're going to go out. They're going to do their operations. Uh, we're just waiting on tech, technical inspection. And then or they're going to be out on the Patriot course. I was busy in a task, but I got invited because I always get out of my chair, run out of my room for big shafts, and apparently there are big shafts. Uh, Aria is excited as well. I don't know how big these shafts are, but I'm 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 nervous. We're entering into the oh my god, oh. <laughs> these are massive. Look how much bigger they are. I don't. Do they fit? Will they fit into our little little differential? Here's oh my no. spare parts of old shafts. Ooh, ooh. And they look like twigs compared to them. She, she I don't I don't know man. I don't even think these are longer. <laughs> What's going on? Yeah, they big boys, that's for sure. I don't is that even? Dude, those are massive. But is that even the same spline number? Did they well, all my spare um, inner subs are in dips right now. So. Okay. They are. I weighed them. I can barely get my fingies around I here. I think one of those ways. Wait, 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 wait. Before we get into that, I want to teach you a new trick. You want to learn a new trick? Come here. Yeah. Come here. Show me. This is for all you at home, especially you ladies. Um, you can make the. Sh you can hold it like this, right? Come here. Grab it. Okay. Grab it all the way around. All right. Cool. You can hold it like that, right? Yeah. But here's the secret. If you hold it like that, it looks bigger. Oh, I see. You see give it a try. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If so you, that makes it look tiny. Yeah, and, oh, that looks like, yeah, yeah, so yeah. Big. Oh. Yeah, you can even do, do one of these, like yeah. that behind it. Yeah, look, 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 look at, oh my, oh my god, goodness. that thing's, it's so big. These are, these are some big ass shafts. How much do you think they weigh per axle? Uh, did we do the displacement thing again? Are you talking about? No, I did. The, I just waited. Okay. So, this box is so heavy. What were those guys? I don't know. You didn't weigh those comparatively? They're on the car. Those are well. There's most of them there. Right, but that's not an accurate. Okay, that's fair. Um, I'm gonna say, uh, one point six kilogram. I don't know what that means. We're in America. What does that mean? What, like, 
three pounds. Yeah, I don't think in kilograms to be. I'll, I won't lie. Uh, those those are like eight pounds each. Is that black line? Twenty. We got the, the what color are these shafts again? What color? Yeah, they're black. Oh. <laughs> oh. Look at that, 20 pound axles. Gee, oh my god. <laughs> Dude, there's a lot going on Wait, here. wait, can you do that again for me one more time? You know, this isn't really the easiest thing to do. Okay, I want you to hold it beside you, and we'll get you a new dating profile photo, because check it out. Ladies, he's been fishing. Woo! Tell me you'll get that. <laughs> uh, Those are, they're ridiculous. These are I think today is Monday. Pretty sure today is Monday. We just got back from Hyperfest last night. We just got back from completely realigning our uh, the car on an alignment rack. You can see how slow my processing is happening, a little burnt out. Um, both of our mechanics, for separate reasons, are unable to make the competition down in Orlando. And we have one day <laughs> to find another mechanic uh, last minute. So I've actually been calling a friend in Florida uh, to see and I actually called as a disgruntled customer to his his business in order to uh, <laughs> To do things regardless um, We're now panicking and trying to figure out paperwork and a bunch of stuff if you don't know in formula drift uh, in order to Have somebody work on your car. It can't be anybody It actually has to be somebody who's registered to work in your car that registration costs money and that registration has to be done at a certain time. So at this moment in time, we're not sure if we can even get somebody registered. We may be behind or, or past the due date for that registration. Uh, the money sucks that we'd have to front that, but it would just be nice to have a mechanic on the team. To give you further context, we have to drive 15 hours to go down to Florida. After that 15 hours, we have to wait a day, go through tech on that day, and then we have a three hour window to practice. That's it, three hours a window. We don't get all week, we don't get a couple of the day before. We get a three hour window for practice. Then we get 15 minutes before qualifying. That's it. Our whole trip is based on that chunk of time. And so everything has to be prepped and ready and organized and calm and smooth and just perfect for those those that three hours and basically 15 minutes. So we need a mechanic and we need one really badly for three hours and 15 minutes. Anything that happens after that, it would be nice to have a, an, a mechanic for that as well, but we just wanna make sure that we qualify and that we can go out and we can participate in top 32, move up to 16, eight, top four, and then come home with the trophy. So we're now panicking to, to get this organized right now, and then we're gonna get the trailer all packed up, and we'll head down to Orlando. How you feel? Oh, he's panicking. I'm fine. I'm panicked.